<laughs> Ambrose Parry, the tales of his life, briefly. Ambrose Parry was born in 16th century France from 1510 to 1590. He started off as a barber surgeon and was apprenticed to a brother. A barber surgeon can do anything from cutting your hair to amputating your limb. He worked at the Hotel Dieu in Paris up until he was 26, when he went to be an army surgeon. He spent 20 years in the war treating gunshot wounds, methods of bleeding involved cauterizing. This is boiling up, up a wound with red hot iron or boiling oil. When Parry ran out of oil, he used ligatures. This is where you tie up arteries to stop bleeding. A leg amputation involved 53 of these knots. Another red of his involved medical clamps. He also published 10 books on surgery and apology and tree ties. Printing helped spread his work quickly and accurately. He had strong opinions on other doctors. He wrote to critics and physicians, how dare you teach me surgery? You who have done nothing but look at books. Surgery is taught with the iron hand. His books were translated from French to other of the modern day languages and Latin. This encouraged other surgeons to think for themselves and not read the words of Galen. This made new ideas. Although Ambrose par parried ligatures weren't all good. Spread could carry infection deep into the wound, causing death. Ligatures took a long time to tie, and this was whilst the patient was bleeding and could die in seconds. Parry's discoveries were still small scale, of as no effect on a sept was used. No antiseptics, no antiseptics were used, and they didn't understand blood groups. Also, better painkillers than wine and turpentine were needed, as it was very painful, and these weren't invented for 300 years. The end.